I never went to school more than six months in my life, but I can say this, that among my earliest recollections, I remember how, when a mere child, I used to get irritated when anybody talked to me in a way I could not understand. Let the people on both sides keep their self-possession, and just as other clouds have cleared away in due time, so will this, and this great nation shall continue to prosper as before. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit which prizes liberty as a heritage of all men, in all lands, everywhere. Destroy this spirit and you have planted the seeds of despotism around your own doors. I learned a great many years ago that in a fight between husband and wife, a third party should never get between the woman's skillet and the man's axe health. I think that slavery is wrong, morally, socially and politically. I desire that it should be no further spread in these United States, and I should not object if it should gradually terminate in the whole Union. Allow the president to invade a neighboring nation whenever he shall deem it necessary to repel an invasion, and you allow him to do so whenever he may choose to say he deems it necessary for such purpose, and you allow him to make war at pleasure. Extemporaneous speaking should be practiced and cultivated. It is the lawyer's avenue to the public. However able and faithful he may be in other respects, people are slow to bring him business if he cannot make a speech. I understand a ship to be made for the carrying and preservation of the cargo, and so long as the ship can be saved, with the cargo it should never be abandoned. This union likewise should never be abandoned unless it fails and the possibility of its preservation shall cease to exist, without throwing passengers and cargo overboard. It was that which gave promise that in due time the weights should be lifted from the shoulders of all men and that all should have an equal chance. This is the sentiment embodied in that Declaration of Independence. It has so happened in all ages of the world that some have labored, and others have, without labor, enjoyed a large proportion of the fruit. that our government should have been maintained in its original form from its establishment until now is not much to be wondered at. It had many props to support it through that period, which now are decayed and crumbled away. Through that period, it was felt by all to be an undecided experiment, now it is understood to be a successful one. My parents were both born in Virginia, of undistinguished families second families, perhaps I should say. In so far as the government lands can be disposed of, I am in favor of cutting up the wild lands into parcels so that every poor man may have a home. To the best of my judgment, I have labored for, and not against, the Union. As I have not felt, so I have not expressed any harsh sentiment towards our southern brethren. I have constantly declared, as I really believed, 
The only difference between them and us is the difference of circumstances. If there should prove to be one real, living free state Democrat in Kansas, I suggest that it might be well to catch him and stuff and preserve his skin as an interesting specimen of that soon-to-be-extinct variety of the genus Democrat. Our Declaration of Independence was held sacred by all and thought to include all, but now, to aid in making the bondage of the Negro universal and eternal, it is assailed, sneered at, construed, hawked at, and torn, till, if its framers could rise from their graves, they could not at all recognize it. A private soldier has as much right to justice as a major general. Being elected to Congress, though I am very grateful to our friends for having done it, has not pleased me as much as I expected. Whether slavery shall go into Nebraska, or other new territories, is not a matter of exclusive concern to the people who may go there. The whole nation is interested that the best use shall be made of these territories. We want them for the homes of free white people. Either the opponents of slavery will arrest the further spread of it and place it where the public mind shall rest in the belief that it is in course of ultimate extinction, or its advocates will push it forward, till it shall become like lawful in all the states, old as well as new, north as well as south. In great contests each party claims to act in accordance with the will of God. Both may be, and one must be wrong. Biographies, as generally written, are not only misleading but false. In most instances, they commemorate a lie and cheat posterity out of the truth. If I like a thing, it just sticks after once reading it or hearing it. I go to assume a task more difficult than that which devolved upon Washington, unless the great God, who assisted him, shall be with me and aid me, I must fail. But if the same omniscient mind and almighty arm that directed and protected him shall guide and support me, I shall not fail, I shall succeed. Why was the amendment, expressly declaring the right of the people to exclude slavery, voted down? Plainly enough now. The adoption of it would have spoiled the niche for the Dred Scott decision. We find ourselves under the government of a system of political institutions, conducing more essentially to the ends of civil and religious liberty, than any of which the history of former times tells us. No policy that does not rest upon some philosophical public opinion can be permanently maintained. In my view of the present aspect of affairs, there is no need of bloodshed and war. There is no necessity for it. I am not in favor of such a course, and I may say in advance. There will be no bloodshed unless it be forced upon the government.
The government will not use force unless force is used against it. The legal right of the southern people to reclaim their fugitives I have constantly admitted. The legal right of Congress to interfere with their institution in the states, I have constantly denied. By what principle of original right is it that one fiftieth or one ninetieth of a great nation, by calling themselves a state, have the right to break up and ruin the nation as a matter of original principle?